If you're a gentleman dealing with an enlarged prostate or BPH or are considering a prostate massage that you're going to be doing yourself, today I'm going to give you six do's and don'ts and things to be aware of, to be mindful of, so that you can have the most effective prostate massage to achieve the goals of prostate milking and to release some of the seminal fluid that can help reduce the size of your prostate gland. Let's dig into today's video. Welcome back, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I'm a naturopathic physician, and I am the founder of the now trademark pending Prostate Fix. This is an overall comprehensive guide, resources, and even now a course for gentlemen looking to resolve an inflamed prostate. And this little plush is a prostate gland. And in my Prostate Fix Masterclass, I actually demonstrate in an uncensored and very intimate way, the way to massage your prostate gland. Today, I'm gonna to share with you six do's and don'ts and things to be aware of for those of you engaging in your own prostate massage at home. So tip number one is you definitely want to make sure you sanitize everything from your location, depending on where you're going to be doing the prostate massage, to sanitizing any instrumentation you might be using, as well as your fingers. So tip number two is relax. The nature of a self prostate massage is a little different for a lot of men, and it can have certain connotations that kind of freak men out. So I wanna encourage you to take some time to do some deep breathing, to kind of get your body in a state where you're feeling relaxed because if you are not relaxed, that can actually cause pain and could cause greater inflammation to not just the prostate gland, but also your rectum. So I wanna make sure that you deploy some good techniques to relax and de-stress. And to help you de-stress and relax, I have a free stress relief course. This is a super small mini course. It takes less than 20 minutes to, to watch my series of videos, but these are really helpful techniques that can help relax your body and calm your central nervous system so that you get in a relaxed state. And I have a lot of gentlemen who will watch some of those videos. It's lifetime access, just like with our course and any of the content that you purchase from us digitally. You can watch these videos frequently before you do your massage. So number three is actually a big risk and I want to encourage you not to purchase a massager. This is a particular instrument that gets sold and marketed to men for a prostate massage. With this type of instrumentation, there are a lot of things that could go wrong. And one of the most important things that does go wrong when gentlemen use an instrument to massage their prostate, this little gland right here, one of the things that happens is when you're using an instrument, you're not actually able to palpate and feel where your prostate is. So often gentlemen using these types of tools, they're not even actually massaging the gland itself. And that just does you a disservice. And in many cases, depending on the size, the texture, whole assortment of variables, depending on the massages that you've purchased, it can actually cause some imbalance and potentially damage your rectum. So be very aware of using a personal massager. Number four, you wanna make sure you cut, so trim your fingernails and buff them or file the edges. You want to have no sort of snags or anything that could cause a tear of the actual rectal lining. So number five, timing is everything. You don't need a lot of time. And in fact, 20 to 30 seconds maximum. And again, if you're looking for specific tips and kind of a tutorial, to massage your prostate gland, I'm gonna encourage you to click on the link down below where you can gain lifetime access to my Fixing Your Prostate Masterclass. This class allows me to give you unedited, uncensored content and resources to help you actually perform the most effective prostate massage to reduce the swelling of your prostate and to ultimately calm that enlargement that you're dealing with. So make sure to check the description box for an assortment of links that I reference here in today's video. You do want to use lubrication on the finger, the digit that you insert 
into your rectum to perform the prostate massage therapy technique. Now this kind of, there's a lot of nuances to what type of lubrication. I do not recommend any petroleum based lubricant. A coconut oil is a great oil. I also have a wonderful intimate oil that has a CBD base, which also it inserted rectally can actually calm and minimize the inflammation of the prostate. So that's really exciting. This Bliss Intimate Oil can be used for two reasons. One, it can help lubricate and help you perform your massage. The other thing it can do, it can actually reduce pain and the inflammatory state of the prostate gland itself because there is this thin single cell lining between the rectum and the prostate. So your prostate gland actually sits along the rectal wall. And when you insert a digit, as well as an oil that has some CBD in it that has a lot of great anti-inflammatory properties and pain relieving properties. There's actually some NIH funded research that's assessing endo cream use using CBD to combat pelvic pain. And in the pelvic pain category falls prostate related pain and inflammation. So the bliss oil, I'll include a link down below. It is hands down such a fantastic oil and you can also use this in your intimate activities as well so i hope these six do's and don'ts tips will help you perform the most effective prostate massage therapy on your prostate gland so i'm excited to share with you the prostate milking therapy some do's and don'ts for supporting your prostate gland and lowering its inflammatory levels. If you are seeking additional resources, I'll definitely recommend you enroll in my course that details all the things to fix your prostate, as well as consider checking out my protocol that I have linked down below. I also have an assortment of prostate health related videos here on a playlist and I'll also post that link in the description box below. And gentlemen, I'm curious, was this helpful? Have you tried a prostate massage on your own? And is it something that you're thinking about doing? Comment down below. I really do love your commentary and your comments are often going to help shape future related prostate health content that I create for you and my community of male patients. And I'm excited to share that I will be choosing one lucky comment winner to get free access into my Prostate Fix Masterclass. So this is really exciting. A comment within 24 hours of this video release, and I'll choose one of you, lucky gentlemen, to receive full lifetime access to my masterclass. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll check out my playlist, and I hope to see you on another video. And the prostate sits right along the rectum depending on the angling. Oh, oh no. <laughs>